Yes, that's right. The first Mojo Bowl is upon us. We have a great matchup ahead of us. Hi, and welcome to the Mojo Show. I'm Chris Morales. He's Scott Olson. We have an action-packed show, so let's get right to it. Yeah, championship preview. Best of the best from this year. And an off-season insider's report. But first, let's take a look at an awesome action-packed playoff weekend. In our first playoff matchup, Tulajic came out clicking right away and jumped all over the Hoosiers. The Hoosiers only played with seven, but many think that wasn't the only problem. The final score was 54-0. After the game, Eli Reyes fired himself as coach. Tulajic advanced to the second round to face the end zone chasers, who were one minute away from killing their own championship hopes. As they showed up with one minute left on the clock, before being forced to forfeit. It ended up being a good game, as this one turned into one big play after another. The final score was 59-41, to 41, with the end zone chasers cashing their ticket to the championship. In our other first round matchup, three girls and one ball brought their best for the playoffs. The Ghosts showed up with some fight and some really nice plays. Maybe the best play of the year by Nicole Rugby Cha-Cha, after some fireworks in the game on the sideline and in the game, the dust settled with three girls and one ball on top by the score of 34 to 18. Three girls and one ball then advanced to the semifinals and kept the momentum going against the shorthanded Bachness Monsters. Playing with only seven, Bachness was playing catch up all day long. Down by a lot late, they didn't give up, but they just didn't have enough time to make a full comeback. Playing out without a full team really hurt Bachness's defense, as they haven't let up as many points this year in any game. On to the championship for the end zone chasers and three girls and one ball. What a great weekend of football, which sets us up for our first Mojo Bowl ever. It's going to be on May 31st at Bugalow Park in New Brunswick between the end zone chasers and three girls and one ball. Scott, you've played against both teams. I have. What do you think about this matchup? Uh, both teams score a lot of points. Um, both teams have pretty good defenses. It's going to be it's going to be an interesting matchup. It's going to come down to the wire. All right, let's talk about end zone chasers. Who's going to quarterback this team? They have a new quarterback every week. I don't know, Coach Marissa. I don't know. She she leads the league in receptions. I honestly think that she just puts in whoever's going to throw the ball every <laughs> every week. They got a new quarterback. She doesn't get enough receptions. No quarterback comes out there. <laughs> Hey, she's going to see this. Ah, well, that's the truth. <laughs> All right, well, who do you think should quarterback that? Honestly, in my opinion, I think it should be Tampa. Okay, why? Well. He dominates the league. He's a big, brawly guy. Runs all over the place. Fast. Nobody can catch him. Throws the ball on the run 40, 50, 60 yards. He's got receivers that can catch the ball. He just picks teams apart. Yeah, I can't argue that. So, uh... How do three girls in one ball, how do they win this game? Is there anybody they should be shutting down? Anybody should they should focus on? Everybody. <laughs> who, who can they not focus on? You focus on Marissa, and then you got the Larson sisters. You focus on the Larson sisters, and then you got Marissa. You focus on all three of them, then you got Hennessy out of the backfield. You got Alvin out of the backfield. You, you can't stop them. I, I, they're, they're a powerful offense. All right, enough about end zone chasers. Let's talk about their opponent, three girls in one ball. They're a different team with Mookie and Victor in the lineup, no? Oh, they are. Uh, you know, Mookie and Victor there, they're 3-1 and one when Victor was there. Um, Mookie, she's a dynamic player. She can throw the ball, catch the ball. She's fast, makes big tackles on defense. She's, just, she's a dynamic player. She's a game changer. And it's very important to have girls like that on your team who are going to change the game. Oh, yeah. But uh, all right, enough about the girls, you know. Let's talk about some of the toughness with these guys here on three girls and one ball. Ah, oh, they're pretty tough. Every week, somebody's getting hurt on that team. I think everybody except for their quarterback has had an injury. Uh, Victor, their coach, playing with broken fingers. Um, last week, they were limping on and off the field to finish that second game. Yeah, I mean, they, they played that doubleheader, and I could have swore I saw every single guy limp off that field with some type of leg injury. I mean, they were taping icy hot patches onto I their know. calves. They were doing everything. They're pulling out all the stops. You know what? That toughness goes a long way. Yeah, it does. It shows their whole team that everybody's got their back. That's true. That's true. Next up after the break, we have an insider's report. But first, this. So, Avni, have you always played flag football? 
Black football? No, not any kind of ball. I was a band geek. I played instruments my whole life, not football. I only started about two years ago and I couldn't even catch a ball. Now, I won't even give my husband a baby because I want to play flag football. All right, so Avni, what do you feel about these guys saying that it's not manly enough to play football with girls? Not manly enough? Are you kidding me? Most of the girls in this league are better than the guys. Check this out. Hi, welcome back to the Mojo Show. Joining us right now is the Pulse of the People, our Mojo Insider, Kenny Goldstein. Kenny, what could you tell us about any off-season changes to any of these teams, starting with the 0-8 Hoosiers? Well, I can tell you they're looking to make some changes this off-season. They're looking to make a big splash in the free agency and or trade market. My sources also tell me that they're looking to make a change in the head coaching department. You know what else helps? having the first pick in the Mojo Sports Draft. Yeah. Definitely. So Kenny, what can you tell us about Too Legit and any changes they're looking to make in the offseason? Well, Too Legit is a team that is stacked with talent from top to bottom, but they had a very disappointing season. Uh, rumor has it that Coach Rob Wilson is would prefer not to coach a team, so there might be a change there in the coaching position. We also know that they're losing sack specialist Joe Flovin. Uh, so he's gone for the summer. So they have to do a little rebuilding this offseason. But hey, there's still a lot of talent on this team, and with a few adjustments, Too Legit could be very dangerous next season. That's interesting. All right. Now, what could you tell us about the Ghosts? Well, we do know that the Ghosts will be coming back, but they have made a trade in the offseason. MJ, Mike Olson, they're off the squad. So that leaves a couple free agent positions available for the Ghosts. I know they're looking into the uh, free agent market to pick up a few more players. Obviously, the core of the team, Chris Trokovich, Ken Goldstein, and John Ferguson will be coming back, as well as Juice and a few of the other players. So we'll see what uh, the Ghosts can do in this offseason, see if they could try and make a big splash in the uh, summer season. Okay, three girls, one ball. They coming back? It's still up in the air. Uh, I know there's interest from a lot of players on that team that they would like to see the team come back for the summer season. They're in the championship. So I think it's tempting to want to bring that team back for the summer. We'll find out in a couple weeks, I would imagine. An interesting note about them. When Mookie and Victor are in the lineup, they're 5-1, and one, including the playoffs. Guess who that one loss is to? Who's that? End zone chasers. Yeah, they are a dangerous team, no doubt. All right, Kenny. Bachness Monsters. Any word on them? I'm really not sure if they're going to be making any off-season changes, really. They're a young, talented team. And they have everything in the cards to win a championship in this league. I know they want to add another girl, so they might be in the market for that. Either way, they should be one of the favorites this summer. Wait, what about end zone chasers? The good news for the rest of the league is they are taking the summer season off. Ah, okay. Alright, All right, well, excellent report, Kenny. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. All right, this concludes our first ever Mojo Show. Thanks for joining us. Right now, we're going to leave you with the best of the best of pictures from the 2014 season, our spring season. Hope you enjoy.